Shape tweens, as the name implies, are used in the tweening of basic shape objects. This lesson will examine the unique adjustments we can make across the timeline when dealing with shapes. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate a basic shape tween example. We're going to start with a circle, and it's going to tween across the stage and morph into a square. So pretty simple. In layer one here, I'm going to name this to transformation. And we have this blank keyframe. So I'm going to begin with oval tool. And maybe I'll start out with this to be green. And I'll draw out my initial shape, use a selection tool to reposition it like so. So basic shape here, right? So now let's go to frame 50. And I'm going to right click there and choose to insert a blank keyframe. Because it's a blank keyframe, we can see that there's actually nothing on the stage at that point. So I've got 49 frames of my circle and then a frame with nothing whatsoever. So now I'll choose my rectangle tool and I'm just going to want this at zero as far as the corner radius goes. And I'm actually going to change the color of this to make it, let's say, blue. And then we'll draw out a little square and I'll also reposition this on the timeline. So at this point, we start off with our circle. And for 49 frames, we have the circle. At the 50th frame, we get a blue square that's right over on the right side of the stage instead. So how do we actually perform a tween? Or what is a tween even? A tween is a sort of slang term in Flash Professional for everything that happens between keyframes. So we have two keyframes where we have distinct objects. The frames in between get animated automatically by Flash Professional. So to actually have this happen, to create a tween, we select any of these frames and we choose Create Shape Tween. You'll also notice we can create Motion Tween or Classic Tween. But for this example, shape tween. We can see a number of things have occurred. We have still our two keyframes, but in this span of frames right here, we now have this little arrow that's going from this keyframe to that, and everything also turns green. Green is the color that signifies that we have a shape tween going on. And keyframe one still looks the same, it's still a shape. It's still green and it's still a circle. Keyframe 50 looks the same. It's still a square. It's still blue and it's still on the other side of the screen. Where the difference comes in is that Flash Professional has created for us all of these tween frames or in-between frames where it's morphing the properties of that object from one to the other. And you see as I scrub through here how that works. And that is a basic shape tween. It's very convenient to be able to modify shapes like that. Note that shape tweens can only be used on basic shape types. So basic circles, squares, even text outlines or shapes drawn with paths, that's all going to work just fine with a shape tween. The thing is, it's got to be a shape to actually use a shape tween. Now, Notice that we can actually go in here to any of these frames that are keyframes and make adjustments. And that Flash Professional will create those in-between frames accordingly. So we can move this over. So you see, it's very flexible. We can also do something such as go into frame 25, insert a keyframe, and then move that keyframe. So if we make all these adjustments, now we've got this extra keyframe where our initial object morphs into this object, which then morphs into our final blue square. So this lesson has demonstrated a number of things that you can do with shape tweens in Flash Professional CS6.